today we're hosting a Black History Month art and culture event within uh, Waterside. We've got some painting upstairs and we've got mask making, African mask making, African canvas painting and we've also got Jenny Osborne from the Multicultural Centre and she's going to give some talks and storytelling about black history. Downstairs as you can see we've got steel brand and then we've also got some food coming. So we've got barbecue jerk chicken and we've also got some refreshments and patties. We've also got hair braiding as well by Tracy Cookie. So everything's funded for the community. Association and at the moment we're doing a project where we're going to do a book for every single person from the Ringless generation who came and lives in Barney. Yeah? So, so, if, so like if you've got a parent, a grandparent alive or past, yeah, we want to hear their stories. Yeah? Um, they're going to be like Yemi, yeah? they're going to be like Maria and her wonderful family here. Today really I wanted everyone just to firstly uh, know about the project. Secondly, know how you can support the project because we're online. It's called Barnet's Windwash Stories. Yeah, um, you can either donate online here, or you can put your name down, or you can give us a few pennies today, from one pound to a thousand pounds. Because obviously everyone's got a thousand pounds. Yeah? No. <laughs> no, but like from from one pound to any kind of donation, we would be really happy and great and grateful for. Today, because. Um, I've had the honour of speaking to and, and interviewing Agnes already and Agnes is just going to say a few words about her life and her journey as Barney's first black mayor. All who have come, the mortars, you've done very well. And um, I would have liked to see more people from the estate here but it is a working day, so we have to be grateful and thankful for who come to support the project. Anyway, that's enough. I want to let, I don't know, some of you would know that I was the councillor here for 36 years. This is my ward. It still is my ward. I still love the people as well, both the new ones and the older ones. I'll never ever forget West Tendon because they supported me for 36 years as a councillor. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the people on the estate. We have new ones coming as well, who I don't know, but I'm sure that over the years from time to time, I will get to know them as well, you know? But when you get the opportunity to do something for the community or be a councillor, there's nothing to be afraid of. Because don't forget, I came here and I wasn't born here. I was a British um, person 
from the Commonwealth. So if I can do it, all you youngsters can do it that were born here. Make sure you do that. Thank you.